You know that saying, have a banana and sit outside for a while? And how we all make fun of it for being our boomer parents' way of offsetting their emotional responsibilities to us growing up because it's easier for them than helping? I used to laugh at that saying too. And I still do. Because no matter how many times I sat outside and ate a banana as a kid, my problems never went away. I think we can all collectively agree that sitting outside with a banana won't solve the economic disparity, power imbalances, and social injustices in our world. But usually, and by usually I mean most of the time, eating helps us think a bit better. Sunlight helps our body function better. And fresh air helps our lungs breathe better. All of those pieces together help us function better. Just like fixing your rod knock and head gasket helps your WRX with a chassis mounted spoiler run better. It's too hot outside for me to enjoy sitting in the parking lot of my apartment building while eating a banana, so I did it in my air-conditioned bedroom instead. And I'll be damned, it kinda worked. I've been in a slump lately, and that's nothing new for me, but this slump was worse. This slump came off the tail end of what was supposed to be the highlight of my summer, June 15th, my first venture off the island to the big city to attend a proper car show and host my own meet. I have autism. My very first slow car shop meet. I'd been planning this for months, getting everything organized and making sure it would go according to plan so I didn't let my followers down. This was going to be my first time hosting an event that was solely planned for slow car shop, meeting people in person, and in general it had been a long time since I'd gone to any car related event after the crash. Needless to say, there was a lot of anticipation going in, and as the date came nearer, the anxiety only grew while the entire plan fell apart. Our driver ditched. My videographer, who was my best friend at the time, ditched. Isaac! Only to show up at the car show with his buddies instead. Isaac, what the fuck? And avoid me. <laughs> he saw us and he immediately turned around. And then it was just me and my partner, who I broke up with halfway through the trip, and actually ended up cutting it early because I couldn't be around him anymore. In general, I didn't really feel like anyone was taking this trip as seriously as I was, besides my followers, especially because halfway through my meet, another car group showed up and pitched a tent and started selling their heat-pressed merch and pretended not to know who I was. Now, I'm not on some ego shit when I say this, but I know they knew because they asked someone permission to attend via DMing them the flyer for my event, and that person gave them permission to attend my event. I also, again, not on some ego shit, have more followers than said car group. And while that doesn't matter to me, I knew it mattered to them. Otherwise, they wouldn't have tried to compete for attention. They had to pitch their tent in the handicap stalls because the lot was so full. I ended the night crying a block away in a church parking lot by myself after they screamed in my face for introducing myself and asking why they were selling things at someone else's event. I thought I was going crazy. Maybe I really am a nobody. Maybe I really was in their space. Wait. No, I have this backwards. They knew exactly what they were doing, and I'm too morally sound to comprehend shady business tactics, so I couldn't fathom it. Hindsight is 2020, and whatever else a banana consumer would say. Why wouldn't they know who I am? Why am I not allowed to be proud of the work I've done to get to where I am? And why am I still letting people treat me like a nobody? Is it because I believe them? I'm gonna need more bananas.